everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here so today i'm going to be showing slash telling you guys some fan page tips and tricks that every fan page should know and some of these tricks you might already know because they're pretty common but if you don't already know them i'll tell you guys some more fan page tips and tricks so the first tip i have for you guys is to use the vaunt trick when you edit your videos so a lot of you said you didn't know what it was so i'll show you guys what it is the first thing you want to do is you want to go on to vaunt and you want to load new video and project so say here is my video i already have it colored you're going to add your text say you want to so i'm just going to quickly make like a very simple simple theme <laughs> Okay, so say this is my theme, yours can obviously, it, it's probably going to be better than this and more like complicated. You can use something th like this if you want, if you like small themes, but this is just like a quick example. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this little, it's like a, I guess you could say share button. You're going to click that, then you are going to click this save as project or save project. So save. Sometimes it's glitchy, but don't mind. Okay, now what you can do, so say you exit the app and you want to edit it, edit a new video. You can go here and you can, instead of clicking load new video, you can click project and say this is, so here's my project, or sorry. I have a lot of themes, just don't mind them. So here's my theme and you can click it and right before it loads at the bottom, there's like this, cancel button you're gonna click it before this line goes all the way to the end okay so sometimes it's glitchy let's try that once more um, i'm just gonna try it with like a different theme so here is my theme so i just click cancel okay and then i can load my new video takes a while but here is all my text one second Here's all my text. It's already here for me. I didn't have to do anything. And now all I can, all I need to do is I just need to change up the, like the title and I'm ready to go. And it helps with, it, it just saves so much time. So you don't have to like you, if you want to make like a really complicated and intricate, I guess you could say theme, then you could use this trick because you're not going to have to edit everything all over and over again. Now let's move on to the second trick. The second trick I have for you guys is to use like, it's a quality trick, I guess you could say. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto the app CapCut if you use it as an intro. So you're gonna go into the app CapCut, new project. Oops, where did that come from? So say here is my video and text, text template. Say you use this one. I know a lot of people use this as an intro. I can go like theme tester to here. What you're gonna do is before you save it, you're gonna click where this says 1008p. Or yeah, you're gonna, it says it's under resolution. You're gonna scroll the little bar to 2, 2K slash 4K and you're gonna leave the frame rate as it is then you're going to save it to your camera roll so the resolution is going to be high, higher, or like better quality when you save it to your camera roll. You might not see much difference, but trust me, it's like a lot. Another fan page trick I have for you is to delete your videos once you post them. A lot of people don't do this. So say for example, um, let's say i posted this even though it has no text let's just pretend i posted this say i posted this after i post it i'm gonna delete the video a lot of fan pages don't do it because they like to save it in their camera roll i don't know why like it's in it's it's, it's in your tiktok account don't it's it's just save storage and then they're like oh i can't post anymore because my storage yeah you can just delete the videos you've posted so say you posted this video right so you just click delete and delete video now it's not in your camera roll and you just save storage wow another thing you can do is your is to delete your recently deleted which i obviously haven't done in a while so mine i have 797 seven, oh my god 797 
recently deleted thingies so i have a lot and i need to delete them <laughs> another thing you can do is to not change your username that often because then people start forgetting like who you are and like oh like i followed this person i don't remember where did like the other account go so i really recommend doing that which i really struggle with because i don't like my usernames but it's it's just you have to you know so make sure to like not change your username as often as you would another thing you can do is to save your videos without the tiktok watermark so for example i'm just going to go into charlie's account quickly And say I want to save this video, there's two ways. Either you can click the share button and you can click copy link and save it on Snaptick. Or you can click live photo. It's going to convert into live photo. I don't think this is Android friendly, so it's better if you use the Snaptick if you have an Android. And you click the share button at the bottom and you scroll to save as video. And then here it is. It doesn't have the little TikTok watermark. It has one down here. But it's not that big so it just helps i don't know it just makes your video look so much cleaner i guess you could say and it just helps with you know because sometimes you have like a theme and then there's like a tiktok watermark on the side and your text gets like blurred out because of the watermark a lot of people don't mind it but i do so you can delete it if you want to and that is it for this video i hope you guys had fun watching and if you know any fan page tricks then you can leave them in the comments down below bye